Hi, today I'm going to show you my method of making a full sheet of the same shape that I know I want to change the colour of some or all of them later. We're going to make a half box for the yarn condren. So start off over here, choosing your rounded rectangle shape. And draw any size you like. So I'm going to select it. And using the size or scale window, I'm going to uncheck clock aspect. And I'm going to make it exactly the size I want. 3.8 by 2.4 centimeters. Now if you hold the shift key down and drag these little arrows, it'll make them the same. And if that looks good to me. And this is going to be our cut line. This is the line that we want the silhouette to cut around. And that's the exact size we want it to fit into the box of the iron condom. We are going to do an offset though, because sometimes the silhouette's not super accurate. So we're going to make this 1.2 centimeter offset and apply. Now we want that to be filled in too, so that if the silhouette cuts a millimetre to the left or a millimetre to the right, it doesn't matter, you won't get any white border. Next, we want to make another rounded rectangle for the middle, and this is going to be that transparent white rectangle. It makes it easier to write on the squares. And again, we're going to go to the scale window, and we're going to uncheck aspect, and we're going to make this one uh, 2.4 by 2. And this is just the way I like it to look. Oops, three point four. And two. And I'm going to adjust this a little bit, holding the shift key down again. And then I'm going to highlight them all. And over here is the align window, and we're going to align them to center. Okay. Now, if I was just going to make these and print them, what I would do is I would select these two outers and I would fill them both in with pink and then I would select the middle one which sometimes is tricky to click on and I would fill that in white and then under the advanced options I would increase the transparency and you have a perfect square that you can cut out but won't leave any white borders and it's a perfect size for the iron condom but what we want to do is we want to make it so that we can duplicate this and then we don't have to fill each one individually. We want to make it so we can just click once and fill them all in the same colour. So I'm going to fill this in back again clear so we can see it. Now I use the advanced option so what I want is I want this middle line to stay red so that when I select cut by red line that's the only one that cuts. So this outside line I'm going to make blue. Oops. I'm going to make the line blue. And this inside one I'm actually going to just make clear because I don't need to be able to see it. Next, I'm going to fill that box in. We're going to fill that in with the white, and we're going to set the transparency to about 30, which is what we had before. And we're going to group, just selecting those two outers, not the inner, those two outer rectangles. We're going to group those together. Now we've got these two shapes now. So now if we click on the outside, well, we should be able to fill it in red, or we can fill it in blue, or we can fill it in green, and it doesn't. So we're going to keep it filled in clear for now. Now select both layers and group them together. And drag up here. Now we're going to go into this tool here because we want to make a whole page of them. So we're going to open the rectangle, the replicate window, and I know that four fit across my page. And I'm going to drag this out a little bit. And to make them look pretty when I print them, we're going to align with them all selected and we're going to space horizontally. And I often just hit align top to make sure I didn't get them there. Now, we highlight them all and we group them all together. And we're going to duplicate again, we're going to duplicate below. We're going to make a column of four. And you can fill the whole page, but for purposes of this example, we're just going to make four. Again, I drag this one down. I like more, align, and space vertically. Now we have these nice boxes, but the problem is if we click on one of these and click fill, it fills everything. It doesn't leave us with that nice white inner shape. So, go back to clear, highlight everything. Ungroup, which gives us back to the whole shape, but that still fills in everything. So we highlight everything again, and we hit ungroup one more time. 
Now what we have is this one outside shape that includes the blue and red line, and we also have the inner shape, which is white and set to our transparency. But now we're still left with the problem where if we want to make them all blue, we're going to have to do them all individually. So what I do is I highlight all of these, okay? and then I hit Shift key, and I highlight all of those ones, not including the inner white border. Highlight the same. So we don't want to highlight that inner square. We want to just get that red and blue line, and one more down the bottom here, and group those together. And then we're going to send them to back so that they make sure we make sure they're all behind the white rectangle. So send it back. Oh, it's not filled in. Sorry. So the white rectangles need to be filled in. So now we're going to highlight everything. We should have one box, which is just these boxes. So we highlight everything. And then just click once with the shift key held and it will unclick all those boxes and we fill them all in white with the transparency that's set to 35 and then we're going to group all those boxes together. Good. So now what we have, I'm going to drag it to the side so you can see, what we've got is we've got one image which is all the white rectangles and we've got one image which is all these outside boxes. So we bring them back with control Z or undo. Now when we click once, on the boxes we can fill them all in orange and we can click once on the white squares and we can change the transparency for all of them and this works for patterns too so you click once on the outside of the box and you can fill it in with a pattern So that's if you want to make a full sheet. The other option is we're going to ungroup all this. Is if say you knew you only want you want to make four of one color and four of the next color, you can do the same thing. So just highlight the outer boxes and group those together, and then just select the inner boxes, group those together, and now you can just change four at a time. Depends on how you want to set your document up, but that's what I would do. And then when you go to the cut settings, cut settings, under advanced, you can select your pink line to full cut, and you can turn off your blue line. Oh, sorry, not under fill color, under line color. So keep red on, and I would select kiss cut from my menu, but I would turn blue off because we don't want that to cut. And now we have multicolored boxes. I have a transparent white box in front of them, ready to print, ready to put in whatever pattern you like. I hope this was helpful. I've never done a video like this before. So, good luck. Bye.